Welcome to Big Daddy's Storytime. We're reading Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse, The Brave Little Tailor. Long ago, a small kingdom was being laid waste by a giant. The king was eager to capture the giant. He offered a large reward to anyone able to do it. The king's people hoped the giant would be captured. Their homes and fields would then be safe again. They thought about it a great deal. Mickey Mouse, the village tailor, did not think much about the giant. He had his mind on flies. They buzzed around and round his nose and crawled over his work table. They even sat on his needle. It was hard to get any work done. One day, there were more flies than usual. Mickey picked up two swatters and banged them together. Seven flies landed on the floor. Seven at one blow. Mickey opened a window. He was very proud of himself. I got seven at one blow, he said to a villager who was passing by. Seven, thought the villager to himself. He was not thinking of seven flies. He went to the palace and told the king that Mickey had fought seven giants at the same time. The king and his daughter, Princess Minnie, wanted to learn about such a hero. They sent for the tailor at once. I had expected someone bigger, said the king, when Mickey arrived. You must be very brave indeed. Were there really seven giants? Giants, said Mickey. He could not believe his ears. The king told Mickey that if he could capture just the one giant that was trampling everyone's houses and fields, he would earn a large reward and the hand of Princess Minnie. Mickey left the palace to think it over. He liked the princess very much. But how did one capture a giant? And where was he? While he sat thinking, Mickey was almost stepped on by a big foot, a giant's foot. He jumped out of the way and began running. He, was, he ran very fast, but the footsteps still followed. Mickey saw a cart full of pumpkins. He climbed inside, inside it, to hide. Alas, the giant was hungry. He picked up a large handful of pumpkins to eat them. Mickey was in the handful. The first thing Mickey knew, he was standing in the middle of the giant's huge palm. I'm not afraid, he said bravely. Of course he really was. He was so afraid that he slipped inside the giant's sleeve, where he thought he might be safe. The giant reached in after him. Mickey had to use his scissors to snip his way out of the sleeve. Then a fine idea came to him. He took his needle and sewed the giant's sleeves together. He sewed as fast as he could. Soon the giant could not move his arms. Mickey wrapped the heavy thread around and round and round the giant's body. Now the giant was unable to move at all. With a great crash, he fell down. The earth trembled and the trees shook. The giant was quite still. He had knocked himself out. Mickey returned to the palace with, good, with the good news. The king decided to hold a big carnival to celebrate. The giant supplied wind power to run the merry-go-round. The king's people were happy. Mickey, with his reward, was happy too. Everyone had a fine time riding on the merry-go-round. What we can take from this, my friend, is to be brave even amidst those challenges that life puts forward to us. You can be as brave as the little tailor Mickey Mouse. I thank you so much for listening to this. I hope you had as much joy listening as I have reading it to you. Thank you again.